Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to easily defeat the final boss in Tunic and how to prepare for the fight. So what I was using is the fire wand and the magic dagger and since you will have to use them at the same time, be sure to equip them on buttons that are close to each other, like Y and B. As cards, you also need the inverted ash, the one with the potion symbol, to convert all your health potions into mana. In addition, I used the dagger strap to reduce the cast time of the magic dagger and the anklet for faster movement speed. What you will also need are either 7 potions or if you don't have that many, go to the merchant and buy blueberries to refill your mana. Just buy as many as you can. If you should have more than 1000 crystals, just buy another potion. That's better than the blueberries cause they won't refill when you die. When you get to the boss, try to stun her right away by pressing the two buttons you have the wand and dagger on. Press them at the same time and the projectile of the wand will carry the eyes to the boss, no matter how far away she is. Then give her 3 hits and dash away. Make sure to always dash away sidewards, cause her own dash is pretty fast and the sword has a pretty wide range. So you stun her, give her 3 hits and then dash 2 or 3 times to get out of her path. Do this until she's down and recovers with the purple sword. Then her movement pattern will change a little. Again, try to stun her as soon as you can and hit her 3 times, then dash backwards. She will make 2 moves. The first one is a dash over the whole platform with a purple trail behind her and then right after this she swings her sword in almost the opposite direction. After this she will stand still for a short moment. Use this moment to stun her and attack her again. If you keep this flow going, she will not perform any other attacks or patterns than this and you can easily get her down. The only tricky thing here is that you will have to refill your mana 2 or 3 times during the fight. Do this when she is stunned and don't attack her this time. If you don't stun her, she will start to do other patterns and attacks and you don't want that. Once you found the right flow, this fight is done within just a few minutes. Just make sure to always evade from her attacks since you won't be able to heal yourself with potions cause they only give you mana. I hope this helps you to defeat the final boss in Tunic and finish the game and if it did, leave a like and subscribe for more guides like this. Thanks for watching!